Hey, John Guzik, Editor-in-Chief of Driverside.com. I'm here at the beautiful waterfront of San Francisco. Uh, it's summertime, it's about 80 degrees here, which is pretty rare for the summer in San Francisco. And to match the weather, we have a beautiful 2009 Mini Cooper convertible. Um, starts about 23.9 for the base model. This is the Cooper, uh, 1.6 liter, you know, four cylinder engine, about 118 horsepower, uh, 25 miles to the gallon in the city and about 34 on the highway. Really good gas mileage. Uh, the only problem with that great, great gas mileage is that it's not super fast. Uh, another thing that makes it a little bit slower is the extra weight from the convertible. We love it, we think it looks great. Um, it's not the quickest car. We would opt, of course, for the Cooper S, but that's us. Um, you know, if you add some options, it gets a little pricey. You know, this is about almost $9,000 worth of options. There's the leather. It has almost everything under the sun except for a navigation system. Um, we like our stock. That's how we like our minis. Uh, it's a really good car. If you want the mini, you can load it up. You can have it your way. You can put any options that you want in almost any color. That's what makes the mini so much fun, and that's why they're such good sellers. What we really like about the Mini Cooper uh, convertible is that it's more than just a convertible. We like the fact that, you know, with one push of a button, basically half the top comes back. So you have open air, but without really having all the noise on the highway. Um, and then you just push one more button and voila, the whole roof comes down. So you can have, you know, a complete convertible. Um, it's pretty ingenious. Uh, we really like the fact that Mini actually created this option and uh, we think it actually makes it one of the most, you know, fun to drive and compelling convertibles on the road. For more information, go to driverside.com.